Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this uh, question on the community, and this question is uh, actually uh, about uh, script now for Jira. Now the question is uh, related to the concept of uh, jobs, and uh, this question is basically about uh, migration. So someone is trying to migrate from uh, Jira server. to jira cloud and uh, if you're using a uh, script now for jira on uh, server then you have to of course read it your scripts you have to also ensure that your uh, automations are working and especially about scheduled jobs you have to take care of them as well because there are so many things that you want to do on a regular basis so this question is uh, about uh, scheduled jobs using a script runner for our uh, jira now the main question here is that uh, on server this user is uh, using uh, jobs but uh, the job is actually running or it is supposed to run every year so it is uh, an annual job now you can definitely create uh, scheduled jobs on uh, cloud as well using a uh, script runner and uh, let me show you how to do it so if you go to your uh, script runner on server not on server sorry on 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 cloud you can uh, then click on this schedule job where you have the option to create a job that will run and it will do something on a regular basis now the thing is that you have to configure this schedule and uh, this schedule is great but uh, if you notice you have the option to configure the time here and also the uh, day or days when this uh, will run and uh, this is of course uh, by the look of this particular pop up it seems like this is like a weekly thing that will basically happen every week on these days there is also something called as monthly which is great but again for the monthly option you have the option to configure the days when this uh, job will run and whenever you configure this particular job you can of course write your script in groovy and it will do whatever you want it to do and uh, the question was that how can we do this for uh, a job for uh, something that needs to be done uh, annually so on cloud using this scheduled option here uh, using using this scheduled job option here there is no way to do it uh, um using uh, maybe cron for example so i was thinking i mean to be honest i never really encountered this problem but uh, because uh, i want to explore and i thought i'll probably share my thoughts on this so what i believe we can do we can try to use uh, automation so if i go to the automation rules in my jira instance and if i try to uh, look at the schedule i have no idea where the various automation rules in the menu so i'll use automation rules from the shortcut so yeah this is actually in the automation there is a there is a separate section under system so the thing is that you can actually create a rule using automation rules like native automation rule and you can go to schedule and uh, you can then see here that uh, using the basic configuration you can configure the rule to run every minute or every hour every day every week every month but there is no year option here as well so what i believe we can do is we can try to use cron and uh, maybe we can use something like this where uh, you can specify cron expression like this that you know you want this to run every um year starting from year 2021 maybe or 2022 and if you click on save you can then uh, do something maybe you want to add a label or maybe you want to create uh, the annual uh, issue maybe let us let us do it so this is annual issue save annual issue creation job and turn it on 
So this might work. Let me just take a look at the rule and uh, I can definitely run the rule to see if it works. I mean, of course, it will work because it is going to just do it manually. But I believe what we can do is we can uh, use a use this automation rule to maybe trigger a script and you can do that I believe using uh, a listener so maybe create a listener and uh, to trigger a listener maybe you can do something with this particular uh, automation rule to trigger that particular uh, listener make sure that listener is uh, I mean the criteria is fulfilled so this I believe would be my approach and uh, I need to double check or triple check if uh, this rule will work uh, because uh, I have never really created a uh, cr created a rule to do something uh, annually <laughs> but uh, I believe this this should work I mean based on the cron because it says cron and uh, I want to trust cron so if you look at uh, this uh, annual issue creation there is no indication here that uh, that this particular uh, um, rule I think it will work because it says here cron expressions are scheduled in UTC currently 310122 oh this is a current time right now so I believe uh, this is not really telling us when this will uh, run and uh, this is actually the valid cron I mean if you um, cron expression and uh, maybe 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 we can take a look at couple of examples to check this so i believe this will uh this should work i'm not uh probably probably not this particular site let us take a look at describe expression okay so at 0000, 000 am every month starting in uh, 2021 okay so this is every month but uh, how can we do it every year okay so date day of the month values must be between uh, 1 and 31 question mark okay next execution date oh it is probably not correct let me check uh, maybe a different uh, cron expression generator cron maker so this is a this is something that i was thinking that okay so it says at 12 am every one year starting from 2021 through 9999 so this probably is correct and uh, let me check this okay okay it is telling me something else so this might work i mean i need to double check i need to probably uh validate this cron but uh, the main thing here is that we might be able to use the automation rule if uh, we have to do it uh, annually and uh, that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much